guys, today we are in Cosby, Tennessee, and we are at Docks 321 Cafe, just a few miles outside of Gatlinburg. A very unique place, kind of like Hillbilly Hot Dogs. We've heard a lot of good things about this place, so we decided to come out here and try it out, and you are coming with us. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Here are the hours at Docks. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, hours 11 to 7. Well, what do you think of this place, Bobby? Seems like deja vu to me. I know. Because we went to uh, Hillbilly Hot Dog. It's almost a couple the weeks same ago. thing. Mm -hmm. Sticks out when you're driving along. What do we have here? We have a $2 fee on all debit and credit card transactions due to rising cost. Let's just take a quick peek around here. Greeted with a big chicken. Have some merchandise in here. Let's take a look. There they are. Open award-winning barbecue chili and stew. Has some tie dyes. Here are the prices on those. Just stuff everywhere. I think we're gonna sit out here. I think just like in Hillbilly Hot Dogs, you can sit in a school bus, but we're in the Smokies. We want to be outside. And we have this sign, Eat at Docks, award-winning barbecue, chili, and stew. The coolest food joint in town. Got all kind of old signs from all kind of businesses out here. All right, you ready to go in, Bobby, and get a menu? Oh, unless we want to wash some clothes first. I remember it. You'd wash them, yeah. run them right through there. My mom almost got her hand stuck through there when she was washing clothes when we were little. That's the same one we had, and it mm -hmm. just drained right out of the back. Yeah. Okay, let's go in. Always be thankful. How are you doing? Good, good. All right, guys, you can choose to sit in this bus. Man, look at all this in here. Writing their names. Yeah, it's a lot cooler in here than it is outside. We're still going to sit outside. Big boy bank. Gentleman back there is fixing up some good stuff. All right. Look at these little tables. This is a nice atmosphere. Mm-hmm. A lot of stuff in here to look at. There's the Tin Man. Look at that. There's stuff everywhere. It is very nice and cool in here. I guess that fan's just doing it. The bus in front of me, you can also sit in. Some great memorabilia in there. I love the Led Zeppelin poster that's in that bus. Or as soon as you come through the door, you can sit in here. It doesn't matter, every place is good. All right, guys, I'm here with Doc, who is the owner of Doc's 321 Cafe. He's going to tell us a little bit about this place. In 2005, I retired off of uh, doing some barbecue competitions and stuff, and, I just, and I've been in the restaurant business for several years. 
So I decided to go in, uh, take this on and uh, doing the taxes and stuff. I found out that uh, I was able to open up a restaurant and a school bus because it was the last thing on my bucket list. It was supposed to be just something to fool with, play around with, but it's blown up. It's known all over the world. We have websites in 17 countries. There's somebody from every state, every country, and every continent has signed the roof of our bus. Uh, we have barbecue, we do smoked pies, we do smoked cobblers. It's just been a great place. It's been the best place I ever owned. And you've won several awards, is that correct? Several awards for uh, chili, or barbecue bayou beans, barbecue, and some of our other things we do. Everything here is from scratch. All my meat comes from my family's meat market in St. Louis, Missouri. No dyes, no preservatives in any of our food. I handpick everything that comes in here. You'll never see a food truck enter my property. I have not sold out to like corporations and stuff. I'm strictly old school here. We don't have no fancy signs, no fancy lights, no fancy cash register. Everything's still done the same way as it was back in the 50s and 60s. Well, that sounds awesome. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us. You have a great day. All right, guys, let's go over the menu here at Doc's 321 Cafe and Marketplace. There's the address, showing you the hours again. Starting off with the plates, smoked pork plate, the number one seller they have here. Barbecue chicken, chicken street tacos, and chili mac. Sandwiches served with one side and pickles, a Lily Tomlin, Janice Joplin. Have a Jimmy Buffett, which is a tuna salad. Mustang Sally, Mama Cass, I like the names. Once Upon a Vine, that's all vegetables it looks like. Take a look at the sides. Starting off with a cucumber, tomato, onion salad, potato salad, but the thing on this is the barbecue baked beans. It's won many awards with those. Soup, award-winning chili, $4.95 for a cup if you want to have cheese and onions, an extra dollar. Have some salads, four choices there. Drinks, they serve Coke products, have some coffee, award-winning tea, sweet and unsweet. Doc's Fresh Lemonade or Limeade, bottle water a dollar. And he smokes his desserts, $3.50. All right, guys, here's our food. Look at that, pulled pork, coleslaw, the award-winning baked beans, little side of barbecue sauce, but I gotta stand up to show this. Look at that. Wow, a half <laughs> of chicken. We both got baked beans because we didn't want just one serving of those, but. Holy cow, Bobby. I know. Look at that potato salad. Half a chicken. <laughs> Man. All right, let's get into this. They gave you two pieces of bread also. Extra barbecue. Looks like mine has plenty on it, though. Yeah. I'm going to start off with these baked beans. I wonder if there's a little bit of jalapenos in there, maybe. I'm mm -hmm. not sure. I'm I know sure. they won a bunch of awards for those. I think that could be a little bit of collard greens in there. I can see why he won 54 awards for this. These are delicious. A little, just a little spicy, tangy, and sweet at the same time. We should have got two sides of those. <laughs> we I mean, have. we can always order more we if we want them. Those are very good. I got potato salad for my second side. The potatoes are done well. They're not hard or not too soft. He puts peas in his that's different I like it like that it's creamy has the mustard and mayonnaise base to it John I'm gonna sneak some peas in my potato salad at home oh, all right <laughs> I'm just gonna cut into this chicken I don't know where to start with this John I mean, look at all that chicken look at that skin just falling off of that's been smoked nice and when they brought it out it smelled so good well, you got it off there. I mean, that I just did. falls off the bone. It's a big chicken leg, isn't it? Big's okay. not the word, Pat. <laughs> hold it up. Let me see. Look at that. All right, here we go. That is very tender. You get the smoky flavor. Look at all that. I'm going to try their barbecue sauce. Dip it in there a little bit. I think they make this one, right? They make them all. Everything's made here. Okay. The barbecue sauce is a little tangy. But I do like it. It's nice and thick. 
That chicken is so tender, though. Um, so by looking at it. Mm -hmm. I think when I get more into the, the breast of it, I'll try to show you that. I'll be a while. Yeah, just take a look at that. <laughs> but I mean, it's delicious. Wow, it just comes right off. I like the skin. I don't know mm -hmm. about you, but if you don't eat that skin, I'm <laughs> eating it. All right, guys, I'm going to get started. I'm going to get rid of this bread. That bread's been toasted. Let's get into this award-winning barbecue, the number one selling item on here, the pulled pork plate. Chopped up nice. The pulled pork is off the charts, guys. You know, when you're chewing it, you just get all those flavors coming out of that. Nice smoke flavor to it. And that's without the barbecue sauce. Nice and tender. I know we go a lot of places and we talk about it. This is up there, even compared to Memphis. This is some great barbecue. Now, I've already sampled some of this barbecue sauce, but I'm in for a treat with it being on this pulled pork. Putting this together is going to be amazing. That is excellent barbecue sauce. You get that tangy, sweet flavor, and I don't notice it as much with the pulled pork, but when I tried this by itself inside, it had a little bit of kick at the end. Don't notice that quite yet, but it is so very good. Oh. Let's work my manners again. People said we forgot to give you guys something to eat the other day. Not forgetting this time. Loaded you up with some barbecue sauce. There you go. I'm gonna try some of these award-winning baked beans. I'm not a fan of collard greens, so I don't know what to expect. But if these are as good as this pulled pork, I'm in for a treat. I don't think you've ever tried collard greens that I know of. I think I had them one time and didn't like them, but years ago, but I haven't tried them recently. Okay. So. <laughs> I guess I, I'm telling you I don't like them, but maybe I could try them again. Maybe I would like them today. I don't know. We'll get off the collard greens. So. In there, I can't really taste them. I taste more of the barbecue sauce and the baked beans. Those are very good. Might be the same barbecue sauce. Probably is. It's done great, guys. Everything so far is excellent. Homemade coleslaw. Because collard greens is a side here. You could get that. There you go. Coleslaw has a nice crunch. A lot of flavor to it. Fresh. It's not old. I mean, it's fresh slaw that he sliced up in there. Mayonnaise base. I know he won a lot of awards for those baked beans, but this coleslaw's up there pretty close to it. And he won a lot of awards for this tea. Now this tea has a nice flavor. It's not overly sweet, and I know a lot of people don't like overly sweet tea. You're gonna enjoy this. Great flavor on the tea. I wanted to try the coleslaw to see if, how I liked it. I like that it has the carrots, the way he has it chopped. It's got a sweet flavor to it. I'm like you, John. I don't know what side I would pick because I've also tried the potato salad, which I love. The more I eat this pork, the more I like it, and I liked it to start with. You know, it has a smoky flavor, but it's not overly smoked, but just so nice and tender. And I don't know if you can get this barbecue sauce in there, but if you can, we need to take a jar of this home. Bobby's gonna let me try the chicken breast. Look at that. Let's just get in there. Look at that, guys. Look. No barbecue sauce, just gonna eat it like this. That is some amazing barbecue chicken. I mean, that is so moist, it almost melts in your mouth. You don't even have to chew it. I mean, it's just that good. So flavorful, that hint of smoke, not overly smoked, the same as I said about the pulled pork. I don't know, Bobby, this place is up there. It is that good, guys. I'm gonna try this wing, look at that. Look at that guys, just comes right off that bone. Now I get a little more smoke on this wing than I did from the other part of the chicken, but I was eating deep inside that chicken breast. All oh, so very flavorful. Excellent. So I know it's hard to believe, but we saved a little bit of room for dessert. They had a blackberry cobbler apple or pecan pie this is their number one seller so we had to go with that and this mm -hmm. is a smoked pie 
Never heard of that before. Get all that gooeyness. Take a look. Wow. That is different. I like it. It has a smoky flavor to it, but it has so many pecans in there. It has a little bit of a sweet flavor to it. Definitely save room and get this. Look at some of those pecans, how big. It's a nice crust. Let me take a peek. Let me move that down. Let's give them a bite, huh? All right, give them a bite. All right, let's take a look at our receipt here at Doc's 321 Cafe and Marketplace. The chicken was $14.95, the pulled pork $13.95, got a piece of pie for $3.50, the sweet tea was $2, the Coke was $1.50, there's our tax, $38.37. Now guys, I'm here with Doc again, and he's going to tell me something about this cart. This card was belonged to Frank Sinatra one time, 1954, right from Palm Springs, California. Unbelievable. And you live next to Frank I Sinatra. Live about three doors down from Frank. And Frank was a great guy. Yes, he was. I have enjoyed being here, Bobby and I, talking to Doc. He's told us some great stories. Very likable guy. And he does an amazing job on the barbecue. Thank you. You have a good day now. Well, we're about ready to leave Doc's 321 Cafe here in Cosby, Tennessee. What did you think about it? I'm going to put this in the top five places for our favorite barbecue places. The chicken was so tender. I love the barbecue sauce. It was a little bit sweet and tangy. But those baked beans were delicious. Probably my favorite. And they even had collard greens in them. Tons of them. Yeah. <laughs> they were also spicy and uh, sweet at the same time. Mm -hmm. Now, I think he said he won 54 or 55 awards for that. Yeah, for the uh, baked, baked beans. Potato salad was very good. And also the pies were good. That was different. I've never had a smoked pie before. Definitely save room for that. I love the area with the flags. So peaceful out here. I wanted to give a shout out to the staff and Doc. We got to talk to him for a little bit. Such a friendly gentleman. This is a hidden gem down here. This is a place we highly recommend. Bobby touched on it being one of our favorite barbecue places. I'm going to agree with her. and We've been to several good barbecue places. This is just as good as any of them. Doc is super friendly. I loved that pulled pork, and I loved Bobby's chicken. Man, that was just so flavorful. The quality of the stuff they're using in here is amazing. The prices are reasonable. It's neat to walk around here and just see all this. The staff, again... You couldn't ask for a friendlier staff. So guys, listen to us. When you are in Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg, make this one of your must-do stops. Yeah, you won't be disappointed. No, I hate that we haven't been out here. No. There's so many good places down here, but this is one of the best. And something else that we didn't say earlier, Doc won season one of the Pitmasters show, and he's in the Kansas City Barbecue Hall of Fame right here in the Smokies. You're getting award-winning barbecue here in the Smokies. Not in Memphis, not in Kansas City, in Cosby. Make sure to come. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the building. building.